Who is this ghastly man? Your one and only favorite Muppet. <laughs> Salve, Boomer Rizzles. Hi, guys. What's going on? Good evening. Good morning. Whenever you're Whatever watching this. Whatever time it is. I don't uh, even know anymore. It is that time. It's that time. It's that time for peep to peep peep to peep This show's been crazy lately, so I'm it really has. excited. It has. It might be the best <laughs> show that we've been reacting to lately. Um, this one's called The Party. Oh, jeez. And it's episode five from season six. So it should get interesting. Who's throwing the party? Who's going to be at the party? What kind of crazy Me. thing is going to happen at the party? We don't know. But we're about to find out. Do you got anything you want to add before we get into the reaction? I'm still pregnant. <laughs> so there we go. That's good. <laughs> that's good. But Keep... no, I'm excited to see. I feel like there's something crazy like lately in every episode. This is definitely <clears throat> the craziest scenario scenarios going on out of all the shows we're watching so i'm excited yes yes i think that's always been the case with this show this one's uh the show jeremy's still with that girl right goes above and beyond uh yeah well, as like a side piece yeah, yeah, yeah but who really knows you know yeah but uh anyway Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and let's react to the episode. Let me turn this a little bit. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Good. Dobby's new workplace. Look at them. Healthy, happy young people. It reeks with the stench of optimism. Hey, Mark! Hi, Dobbs. I, I just happened to be passing. Now, I remember you saying that if I happened to be passing... Two buses here, three buses home. Five convenient buses. Great to see you, you big freak. <laughs> cool place. Wonder who's trying to jump her. Ain't about a pop. I'm just temping, but it's fun. Look, I, I couldn't help noticing that there's a silly world on the high street. Oh, yeah? And I've got all these credits left on my mega pass, and I, I'm not up to much, so... Shit, I'm... I'm going out tonight for a big one with the guys. I'm a guy. It'd be great to do a mega gulp and movie soon, though. I'd hate us to stop being friends. Yeah. Friends? Yeah, we're friends, right? Like, if I was having a party, I'd invite you. And if you were having a party, you'd invite me. Well, yeah. Exactly. Don't. He got friends zoned. He got friends zoned. Which a lot of people think that you did to me for, for quite some time. I did. Oh, please. I'm just kidding. If anything, no. I friend zoned you. You didn't friend Let's zone continue. me. How did you friend zone me? <laughs> well, your friend Chelsea let, let me in on a little secrets when we were not together, so. Let you in on secrets? Yeah. Chelsea? Yeah. Told you stuff? <laughs> You're joking. What do you mean, no? <laughs> I'm gonna kill her. What do you mean? <laughs> she said you had the hots for me before we were together. Why didn't she tell you that? At the baby shower? Yeah. Well, you already knew that. They're gonna be like, get on with it! <laughs> Sorry, you already knew that, though. Me? <laughs> yeah? I'm having a party. What? Yeah, that's the other thing I came to tell you, actually, that, that I'm having a party. Would you like to We're come? We're talking after this. Yeah. Trapped in a web of our own making. God, I can't believe I'm having a party. I am so proud of you. There was everyone thinking you were just this fusty, sweater-wearing, spirit-crushing, no-fly zone with a ten-foot carrot up his ass. Yeah, obviously, it is only a tactical party. I'm only having a party in order to eventually get sex. This is the <laughs> only reason anyone in recorded history has had a party, Mark. Plus, it's great for me. Perfect way to see Elena. You haven't given up on Elena? Nah. She's just playing it cool. And I just need to do the same. It's Snoopy in shades versus the Fonz in a fridge. Hi, it's Elena. Please leave a message. Oh, hi, Elena. Yeah, Jez here. Yeah, just to say, you know, me and Mark are partying hard this Saturday. I've invited everyone else, and then I thought of you. So uh, there's going to be some <laughs> so cats boring. from the music biz, uh, a few cats from film and new media. You know, a whole crowd of cool cats and crazy chicks. Chicks with dicks, chicks without dicks, guys with dicks. Maybe see you up here. Maybe not. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Sounds like chaos. Oh, great. Oh, shit. What is it? Creamy elephant repayments. 
It's from Sophie's father, his solicitor. Arrangements for child maintenance, visitation. Oh, God. Wow. That's pretty real. I don't want to stickle or negotiate. Wouldn't feel right. Yeah, just sign that shit up. That's what I'd say. Sign and recline. That's my motto. <laughs> yeah. Am I really going to take his advice? No. The finest no, read legal it. mind of his generation? Read it. Only three hours to go, three lasagnas to nail. Need another? Chicken lasagna? I've seen it on menus, but only at those pretend pubs at the airport. Hey, man. What the hell are you doing? I'm gaffer taping bin bags to the floor. Right. Why? To protect the carpet from all the various fluids. But it looks like a crack den. I know. Why the hell have you bought so much food? Because I'm making four different kinds of lasagna. Nobody cares about the food at parties, Mark. They just want to get pissed and go ape. Yeah, exactly. Go ape. Oh, I don't want people going ape, Jeremy. Because there's a missing word, isn't there? Ape shit. Anyway, I haven't got <laughs> yeah. time for this. I need you to start assembling an enormous salad. Right, I'll do the salad in a minute. Right now, I'm setting up puke points. Puke points? There are seven puke points. The toilet is puke point HQ, obviously. And then I've gone round emptying the bins and distributing bags as secondary puke points. Oh. That's fucking crazy. You know what? He's got a he's got a plan. Yeah. I mean, like in high school, the only thing I can think of, like plans. when I threw parties before, is um, I put up extra trash bags, like on like doorknobs and stuff. Yeah. Just because I knew everybody's gonna be putting trash everywhere. Yeah. So, and this was when we were like teenagers or early twenties. We so. do not recommend underage drinking. No, we do not. But because knowing at that age how messy we can be, mm -hmm. I was I put like trash bags over most of the doorknobs so people were like oh I can put trash in here, and it worked pretty for the most part. There were still some trash places. Yeah, I feel like I mean I never threw a party because I wasn't as cool as you were, but when oh. I would go to parties. People would do that at, like put trash bags on the door handles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you fill them up quick. You do. Oh, God, this could be a disaster. I want a night of edgy banter and tipsy indiscretions. He wants us all lying around in our pants, flinging shit at each other. Oh, Sophie, not again. I'm not having a baby, I'm having a party. So, what do you reckon? How many buttons? Because, like, one is old school, Blair on holiday. Look at their little shirts! Two is the new one. So I was thinking maybe three, but then if I'm doing three, maybe four? I'm thinking of doing a reserved chicken. Oh, what do you think? Much. Five lasagnas, Mark. Lasagnas can't save you. You are still going to have to talk to people, you know. What if it's Dobby? Don't snuffle any of the mozzarella. My ratios are right on the edge. Gerard. Hi, Mark. Tube up his nose. The tube is back up his nose. Oh, don't I haven't tell seen me I'm him the in first a while. One here. Yeah. You're the first one here. You're early. I came a bit early because I just wanted to say, <laughs> obviously, what with the whole Dobby situation, I know things have been difficult between us, but thanks for inviting me. Not a problem, uh, old mate. Oh, I'm in a love contest with someone who's one blocked sinus from intensive care. Drink? Oh, shouldn't. Uh, stomach acid levels are still playing up. I don't know if you noticed, I've got the... Oh, oh my god, I had one of those. not going to want to what? kiss around That the uh, ball in the corner, the disco ball that like turns all did. directions. I bet you did, 90s man. <laughs> that is like a 90s thing. Yeah, Because I remember going sort of. to... Uh, oh, what is that place called? They have them like at every mall. Spencer's? Spencer's. Yeah. I remember going in there. When, like, I was in, like, middle school or high school, like, ooh, let's mm -hmm. go to Spencer's. And they would have, like, lava lamps and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. I used to... It's, I'd save up money to buy ridiculous shit back in the day. I bet you did. Intensive care. Drink? Oh, shouldn't. Uh, Some acid lake. levels are still playing up. I don't know if you noticed. I've got the... Oh, no. She's not going to want to kiss around the mucus duct. Nice. <laughs> I, I'm just on lasagna duty, but I'll make you a wiki. Enjoy. Might tell Dobby he came too soon. <laughs> I thought it would look petty and vindictive not to. And as a petty and vindictive individual, I have to take extra care not to appear petty or vindictive. <laughs> it's kicking off. Can you help? I, I need to make sure Gerard gets incredibly fucked. Booze, drugs, whatever, before Dobby arrives, just to be on the safe side. Oh, my God. Chemical castration. Classic. Gee, what do you just make them? All right. You brought a snake. Yeah. Hey! Oh, I a venomous plus one. <laughs> Wait. 
It's red touching black, so it's a friend of Jack, so it's not poisonous. Is that how it goes? Red touching black. I was just laughing and Mark, he said nothing like a venomous plus one. Red touching yellow, kill a fellow. <laughs> Listen to this. Alright. You brought a snake. Yeah. Oh god, he's brought a venomous plus one. <laughs> All these young spunks swarming about, you need a USP to gain a market share. Whoa, yeah, really good. snake. Massive. What's it called? Don't know, fucking rental snake, innit? It it is. <laughs> It's safe, like is it, isn't it, Hans? Yeah, it should be. Red next to black, jump the fuck back. Red and yellow, cuddly fella. But no, nope, it's the opposite. Red next to black. Yeah, I don't know. It's fine. He's been milked, I should think. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well, knowing Peep Show, you know somebody's gonna get bit, and it's gonna yeah, it's gonna be bad. But no, red touching black is not poisonous. Red yeah. touching yellow is okay. poisonous. Is they teach you that Where's in Dobby? Oh god, our party's a disaster. Let, let's face it, give up. Call a truce, everyone can go home. We tried, we failed. Mark, Just started! Did you think it's the food? That people hate the food? Yeah, that's right. You should have put more black pepper in the lasagna. Then it'd be rammed. You joke, Jeremy, but word travels. Word travels. No, no one's dancing. But let's try some other music. You, you've had your chance. I'm putting this on, Jeremy. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm off to get a drink. Well, get one for Gerard as well, a, a biggie. And, and dance a bit as you walk. Dance, get, get the dancing going. Hope the party <laughs> livens up before Dobby gets here. It looks like the waiting room for a budget psychotherapist. Hi, Mark. Uh, hi, sis. Can't you make it? Let me tell you, I am just about ready to get totally and utterly off my fucking nuts. Great. You, you've noted the puke point? First, we need to have a talk about this six-page legal toilet paper. Yeah, the parental agreement contract. Yeah, th thanks for having a look at that. Maybe on Monday. I already call Sophie and have to message. What message? Something along the lines of you're fucking my brother with a broom handle and my brother doesn't like being fucked with a broom handle. God, no wonder she's calling me 24-7. No one screwed with the Corrigans, not anymore. This isn't going to be like mum and dad's dolphin showers fiasco. Confidence in business. Confidence in love. You can quickly be... She banged Jeremy, by the way. Oh, did she? Yeah. Aww, every every sister. Every woman in this show has been with Jeremy, except for Do Dobbs. No, oh, I, hope, I hope Dobby doesn't. All for it. <clears throat> the the perils of shuffle. More creative by following me. It, it, it's not mine. I, I just got it free with the Sunday Express. Great work. Raj Pasod on the wheels of steel. Hi, Jez. Oh, hi. Great to see you. Remind me, did I ever call you back after you called me all those times after we had that great night together? You're real shit, you know that. You're toxic waste, and I'm gonna make sure everyone here fucking well knows it. Have a good one. Oh, crap. Ooh. Everyone's gonna know I'm toxic waste. Oh, God. Elena. This is not all my chickens coming home to roost, Mark, all right? Don't stand there thinking it is. I'm not, Jez. This is all his chickens coming home to roost. It's a roosterthon. <laughs> so, Jez, I've made it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I'm just spinning some tracks, actually. Well, maybe I better leave you to it. Maybe you should. Yeah, the cool off. I'm relaxed. Snoopy on a lewd. Who's gonna break first? Not me, sweetheart. Yeah, sure. Go on. Talk to a guy. Why not? Maybe I'll shag a guy, too. How would you like that, <laughs> hmm? <laughs> oh my god, it's actually. Did going you see well. the windows? Yeah, yeah. Sure, go on, talk to a guy. Why not? Maybe I'll shag a guy too. How would you like that, hmm? Yeah, it looks fun in there. Oh my god, it's actually going well. I'm in it, girl. I'm Plum Sykes. I'm at the hub of London's social world. Peaches Geldof and Gorby will probably be here soon. And the lasagna's a palpable hit. How are you finding the lasagna, pal? Mm, great. Thank you. I think that's actually the tuna you're on at the moment. Glass of bubbly? Sweet. Look at me doling out the champers. I'm the greatest man who ever lived. Goodwill good to all men. Did I just say goodwill to all men? Hey, man, look at us. I know. I'm having a good time. So am I. I, I mean, not actually, but it's like I am. Only negative is no Dobby. If it peaks before Dobby gets here, I've wasted good party. Give her a bell, let her have some flavour. What, like start a message and, and then be like, stop it, Julio, grab your own cocaine, I've got too much tit in my mouth. Exactly. <laughs> God, everyone's going mad for the lasagna. Who knew? Your mates are loving the tuna. Yeah, they're not my mates. Gate crashes. What? They're just some men who forced their way in here and are eating my lasagna. Dude, it just means we're a hit. Jeremy, they weren't invited. If, if there was no one here but us and them, it would be a police matter. That's happened to me before where people showed up that I was you like, who the right? fuck are you? But <clears throat> I'll let them in. None of them got out of control. It was just. 
Yeah. yeah. I feel like every high school or college party have been two people showed up that weren't invited. Yeah. Because, like, people hear it from other people. Or they'll be like, hey, do you mind if I bring, like, my, if, can my boyfriend come? And There's the girl's those, like, yeah. yeah, bring your boyfriend. And then the boyfriend shows up with seven other guys. And you're yeah. like, are they all your boyfriend? Like, I right. said your boyfriend, not his buddies. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, I'm so glad I don't do that stuff anymore. Of course he doesn't care. He didn't spend hours I'm reducing the passata. Mm. Got any more, mate? It's finished. And uh, listen, mate, who invited you to this party? Um, Mike Wright. Mike. And uh, which bottle did you bring? Can you please identify your bottle? Look, mate, we're not going to be any trouble. Look, you've got to go. You can't <laughs> walk in here and eat my food and drink my booze and try and have sex with my women. My women? Look, we'll be good boys, promise. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. I'd like to make an announcement. Oh, no, no, don't do it, Mark. He's gonna kick people out. Like, they're not doing anything wrong. You just said you were having fun. Oh. Well, he said he was pretending to have fun. Two gentlemen are party crashers. So I. We'll be good boys, promise. Excuse me, everyone. I'd like to make an announcement. These two gentlemen are party crashers. So I'd be very grateful if none of you spoke to them for the rest of the evening. <laughs> there is an exclusion zone around them, a cordon sanitaire. Thank you. They're like, I'm okay. Look at him. Oh, hilarious. Oh, I've got a rented snake. It's just like a bendy cock or a dangerous sausage. Hilarious. Excuse me, I need to get past. Okay, take this, Elena. Can we have a quick chat? What about? I just wanted to say I'm sorry about the way I behaved. It was basically because I I couldn't handle the strength of my feelings. Pull the other one, Jeremy. It's got bells on. Seriously, Sarah. It is Sarah, isn't it? I think <laughs> you're incredible. Sure. You're just a very alive, Those very pictures. incredible, very sexual being. Yeah, well, don't touch what you can't afford, Jeremy. 30 all in flirt tennis. Mark, there's something wrong in the loo. <laughs> God, she looks like she's witnessed a war crime. Did she take a dookie? What's happened in the loo? She must have taken a dookie. Oh, yeah? Which is a, uh, a result of the phenomenon known around the world as mud butt. Oh, my God, stop. Oh, ooh. Looks like somebody's taken out Puke Point HQ. Oh, the humanity. Well, really must be one of your friends. You deal with it. Oh, what? Because your friends don't poo. Not at parties. Oh. Who comes to a party and does a massive poo? Sort it out, Jeremy. He must be here, the culprit. If I give everyone my best Paddington stare, the guilty party is bound to emerge. No, it's could be creepy him. as hell. He's looking pretty relaxed. Dump the heavy load, have you, sir? On my time. Look at that. The devil and Eve and a serpent. And if there was an apple, this would be a whole famous thing. I wanted a pet with a bit of edge, you know? Something to keep me on my toes. Every day down at my flat now, me and him. Survival of the fittest. I didn't want to go to full puma. I thought about a tarantula. But we had good times, eh? With a snake, your friend. A dangerous friend. You can touch him if you like. I don't know. Go on, stroke him. Stroke my snake. That's it like <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... Stroke snake. Do it. Do it. Stroke snake. I know, you're saying that too creepy. Oh. They both have, like, the same color eyes. Snake, your friend. A dangerous friend. You can touch him if you like. I don't know. Go on. Stroke him. Stroke my snake. That's it. That's just fucking it. All right, Jez? Yeah, um, just an idea, but would it be okay, mate, if you fucked off before I ram a wine bottle up your cock? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my Look god! That's your go. friend! That's super hands! Yeah, but that's a lady. He's putting hoes before bros. <sighs> I've never seen Jeremy that mad. He really likes I've never Elena. seen him threaten somebody like no. that. And it's his fucking friend! He really likes Elena. Oh my dear god! He said asking her to stroke your snake? That's too much. That crossed the line. Stroke my snake. That's it. That's just fucking it. All right, Jez? Yeah, um, just an idea, but would it be okay, mate, if you fucked off before I ram a wine bottle up your cock? All right, mate. Chill out. It's only a phallic symbol, not my actual dong. 
It's all right, Hans. I just think me and Jazz need to talk. This is it. I've got to say it. Look, I just fucking love you. I love you and I don't want to play it cool anymore because I would eat my own fingers just to look at your face. I will be your dog or your human mannequin. I'll do anything you say. I just want you. You'd be a human mannequin for me. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know what that involves exactly, but... I just think you've gone off me. I was trying to play stupid games, but I can't. I just want to fuck your brain into my brain. Oh, wow, I've pulled. I've pulled my own girlfriend. Great. My party and I'm the Miss Marple of big jobs. Can I ask you an additional question? Have you made use of the facilities? I'm sorry. You had an appetite for lasagna tonight. But did you have another... Oh, my <laughs> God, Mark! Uh... Go talk I'm going to, some to ladies. I'm going to make an inquiry about your mud butt. He's going to find out who has mud butt. That's his mission of this. You party. ate all the lasagna. You oh. must have a strong case of mud butt. Tuna lasagna. Oh my I god. I fucking love work. That. Miss Marple of big jobs. Can I ask you an additional question? Have you made use of the facilities? I'm sorry. You had an appetite for lasagna tonight. But did you have another appetite? An overwhelming appetite for fecal discharge? I used the bog, mate, but it was flowing clean as a whistle. It was after her that the problem started. Oh, my God. Could it have been? She was the last one to see the victim alive. Jesus, it's the crime of the century. I've cracked the Da Vinci Code, and it's horrible. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God, is that it? No, it's not Oh, it. I was like, that like was the midwife. good show. Wow. If sex was an Olympic event, we'd win gold. He's so cute, Jeremy. Sex is never going to be in the Olympics because of China. China wouldn't allow it. Gail. Oh, the cock clamp. The inevitable Hulk. She's finished. She'll be here soon. We best not talk to each other for the rest of the party. Oh, back to playing rhythm guitar. The backup. The human carrot. You know what, Elena? I'm not doing this anymore. I love you. You've got to choose. What? Come on. Gail's had her go. Now I want first dibs. She can skulk around and you can have an affair behind my back. Except, you know what? No, you can't. Because I want you all to myself. The truth is... The spark has kind of gone. She used to write me poems and make me spelled bread with her bread machine. And she still does a bit, but like one loaf a month. And really <laughs> short poems, like five or six lines and so on. She's taking the piss. Maybe I should just end it. She's mine. Maybe we'll move to Russia or wherever the hell she's from. <laughs> Where is she from? I, okay, so I think the end of this episode, if the party goes on for the rest of the episode, at yeah. the end of the episode, her girlfriend is going to come in and just fucking obliterate people. Her girlfriend? Yeah. I think she's going to beat up Jeremy. Yeah, well, she's but she's also, like, of all the characters on the show, she might she's probably the smartest. Yeah. Too, so I think, I don't think well, she's going to beat up people. she's not catching on... Her yeah, cheating. I think she is though. It's either that. It, well, it's either she comes in and beats the shit out of Jeremy, or verbally emasculates him, or they just start doing three ways. I don't know. Let me see what's in your mind, King Boomer. <laughs> oh, oh my God, the humanity! I think that I, for Mark's side, I think Dobby's gonna show up. But it's going to be when he's being a butthole to everyone. And he's like, oh shit, am I toilet? She's going to be like, okay, never mind. Yeah. Because he, he always... That could happen. Alright, let's see. I know what you did last summer. Tell me what? I know that maybe you think that now you and he have parted company, that you're no longer responsible for him. Well, in my view... You are your brother's keeper. Mark, you're drunk. You're talking gobbledygook and balderdash. <laughs> so cold. She's a heartless supervillain. Hmm, maybe Gerard's a little too out of it. Be awful if Dobby's natural compassion came into play. Mark! Dobby! Yay. Now you to explain what the hell it is you've been doing till this time. Let's get you a drink. She's here, but the party's peaked. Just got to make sure she doesn't run into Gerard or the poo. The items of unpleasantness. 
jail. Great, you could make it. Hi, Jez. You're about Hi, to get out. Have a lager. Thanks. Come on in to your emotional torture pit. Hello, oh, babe. No. Yeah, that's right. Hello. Kiss goodbye forever. Oh, my God. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get her to jump on you. That's just gonna she might poke you in the belly. What do you want? Yeah, what's going on? What you want? Hmm? <laughs> Boy, but that's alright, because I don't really like... Forever. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. You're a very naughty boy, but that's alright, because I don't really like nice boys anyway. I'd love to stay in chat, but oh, I've got to go and give that ill-looking man an enormous drink. Oh, shit, I was on for a biggie. Is it petering out? Are you kidding? It's, it's petering up. It's about to hit maximum, Peter. Oh, my fucking life. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God, it's that? Sophie's dad. <gasps> oh, no. She's prob she, he's probably looking for Mark so he can settle things. Well, his sister called and said, stop fucking my brother. So. Yeah. Jane? Open the bed. Come here. Come here. Open the bed. <laughs> yeah. He loves it. The, the weirder you are, the more excited this dog gets. Huh? Nice to meet you. Maybe I'll make that the thumbnail if the camera caught it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, not lick. Alright. I was on for a biggie. Is it petering out? Are you kidding? It's, it's petering up. It's about to hit maximum, Peter. Oh, my fucking life. Oh, God. Look at that. Some bloody man has turned up. Probably from the council. You'll have to excuse me. Hi there. And it's so welcome. Beautiful. Yep. What a surprise. A party. Thanks for the invite, Mark. It, it's more of a sort of gathering that snowballed into a get-together and mutated into a party. I was calling and calling and Dad was down, so... I want to get everything sorted and above board, Mark. But obviously now isn't the right time. Oh, OK. They've showed up, have they? OK, great. Come on, then. Let's do the hucklebutt right here, right bloody now. Well, maybe we should just bloody well get a few things sorted out. But, but I'm having a, a party. My party's <laughs> been pooped. Jeremy. Dobby mustn't see Gerard. He, he's gone over the edge. Get rid of him. Aye, aye, Captain. Ben Archer never did baby negotiations at this parties. Or oh, very rarely. You two can piss off out of it pronto. Jeff and Yvette from my book group. What kind of mad social oh, have I become? Oh, right. Can't finish atonement because it's too dry. But you've got time to get fingered by Jeff. Very intellectual, Yvette. <laughs> this is so wild because Sophie <laughs> dated him first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You gotta move town. This show, yeah, this you gotta show. Move town. This show is wild, man. I'll be sure that depth charge will drop down your bog. <laughs> so can remember me by. Oh my God! There's a twist in oh my God. Of course, the butler did it. I'm so sorry, Suze. Okay, so the headlines: <laughs> We're not agreeing to sign a single page yeah, of this legal balls act without visitation rights locked down. Um, th th that might be putting it a bit. What sort of visitation are you looking for, Mark? Saturdays, Sundays, and Thursdays. Three days. No, no, hold on. I, I was thinking about taking Italian lessons on Thursdays. Great. Now Thursdays aren't good for him. What days do you want, Mark? I don't know. Easter and Shrove Tuesday. What's he? Salad spinner. Okay, that's not a bad place to keep it. Now, our broader contention is that Sophie's not a fit mother. What the fuck are you talking about? No, oh, sorry, we, we don't mean that. What, what are you doing? It's a bargaining position. We ask for the whole baby. We get Thursdays and Wednesdays. But I don't want Thursdays. I, I want to parlay Italiano on Thursdays. Sort it out, Mark. Brilliant party. Make mine a childcare and tonic. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Reptile abuse. Others get raided by the police. Oh, I'm going to get raided by the worldwide fun for Night nature. Night nice. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach her to write four or five line poems. Look at all that brilliant crying. There's another way out of all this for us all. If you were to do the decent thing. The decent thing? There's still a remnant of feeling between you. I could make life quite comfortable for you. Give you a job at the seed firm, light duties. You'll do all right on 40k, living in Nana's cottage with your wife and child. Is this an offer your client is on board for? Oh, I think I can persuade Sophie to take this seriously. Maybe I'd be happy driving the seed van around with my country cottage and my family, reading the Sunday Times. It's so thick I can not talk to anyone all day Sunday, Monday to Friday, work and property shows and... I'm sorry, this is the... To me, like, in, in terms of situations, yeah, this might be... 
this might take the cake in terms of like all the between Mark and Je- they have like they have a, a dozen situations life. in this in this one apartment right yeah. now. Yeah, they have like a dozen situations going on that there's no way they're gonna and they've never navigated one successfully. Yeah. So what makes you think they're gonna navigate twelve? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is wild. Red wine. If I can just figure out Saturdays, maybe it would all be okay. We'd need 50k and an extension on the cottage. 45k on the van. Done. What? Shall we shake on it, Mum? Should I shake the Did man hand? To marry her? Sarah, fucking hell, are you alright? What the hell are you doing in there? Jeremy said I needed a lie down. Oh, that was nice of him. Come on, let's get you home. I'll take you home. Oh, no, don't, don't take you oh home. Oh, my God. He's fine. He's, he's just had a bit of a disco nap, and now he's ready to party, aren't you, Gerard? Are you all right to stand up on your own now? I think if, if you wouldn't mind just holding me for a bit. Oh, for God's sake. Could you call <laughs> the cab, please? We'll share. The same cab, but... But, but you live in Catford, and, and Gerard lives in Ballam. That, that's miles apart. It, it's illogical to share. It's crazy. I want to make sure he's OK. Mm. Plus, late at night, minicabs. They're licensed, Gerard. Dobby is not about to get raped, if that's what you're trying so snidely to imply. So let's just cut the bullshit, shall we? It would be more fun going home together. Oh, right, now we get down to it. They're not going to have a better time going home than I'm having at my party. Hello. Yes, I'd like two cabs, please. I need two cabs, one going to Catford and one separate one going in a completely different... <laughs> what? He's ridiculous! <laughs> one separate one? He is ridiculous. <laughs> He's just going to get in the cab he gets in. <laughs> the shit you guys make me watch, man. Oh, this, like show, this, is, show. this show is unbelievable. This is the craziest show. Unbelievable. Believable. Wow. From direction to Bala. Two cabs, please. I need two cabs. One going to Catford and one separate one going in a completely different direction to Bala. What's going on? Gail just asked Elena to marry her. She's got a proper hetero ring and everything. Wow. Oh my oh god. god, she's grasping at straws. This okay. is going to be so embarrassing. <laughs> she said yes. But maybe she thinks no is yes in English. <laughs> Jeremy, isn't this amazing? This really is amazing. Oh god, this is the best thing I've ever had in my life, and I thought she was slipping away. You can't know how bad that felt. Mm. Champagne. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Whoops. Oh, the thing is, she gave me this ring and it was so romantic. God, this is so weird. Oh, is this all right? It just feels so right. She's so suggestible. Like a sexy robot anyone can hack into and program. There oh, my kids. God. Lesbian kiss. Now he's like, okay, no he's like, well, hold on a minute. Where gone when you need them? God, that's so fickle. What are we celebrating? Gail and Elena just got engaged. It makes you feel any better. Dobby and Gerard are leaving together. Right. Who's got my rental snake? I'm gonna lose my deposit. Wasn't it in the salad spinner? Empty. We need to find him while he's still dizzy, because if he gets his shit together, he's gonna be pissed off. Oh, he'll be baits you. There's a snake at large in my <laughs> Yeah, there's a snake at large in your apartment. The, I, Don't spin snakes. I knew the snake would... It, so something's gonna happen at the very end here. Yeah. Where the snake is a big part of it. Who do you think it's going to bite? I don't know. I don't even know if it's going to bite anybody. What if it comes out of somebody's bum? What? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past the show if it came out of somebody's ass. Play the show. Oh. Wasn't it in the salad? Empty. We need to find him while he's still dizzy because if he gets his shit together, he's going to be pissed off. Oh, really? So there's a snake at large in my flat. I suppose I'm going to have to buy a mongoose now to hunt it. If your mongoose eats my snake, I will so. So now I have to flat share with Jeremy and the snake. Still, there's a way out. Oh, my God. Nana's cottage. Oh, my God. Man. Get a dog. what I call it? Sophie's just sitting Boring on the king floor. Maker. Lambert Simnel. Two arch. Oh, Some my God. Lord Carrington. Oh, God, this is all too much. This is all too bloody much. Jez. I think I might have a bong hit. 
A ball pit? Yes. I've organised this whole party and I haven't had a single bit of fun all night. So yes, I want a bong hit. Oh Light my. it there and inhale there. You've been watching. <laughs> hmm. Maybe he'll become a pothead and he can start buying the stash. Are you okay? Fine. Fine. It's, it's not affecting me. It's not affecting me at all. Actually, I think I am beginning to feel something. Yeah? I think I'm beginning to feel great. Great. I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying my party. Yay. Yay. Sophie, you can have whatever you want. I'll sign whatever you want, but I don't want a dog. A dog? What dog? I don't want Carrington. I want Dobby. Dobby, don't go. Stay here and marry me. What? Marry me. I feel fun. Terrible. It's still there! Where's the pinpoint? Where's the oh, pinpoint? No. Pinpoint 3! Pinpoint 3. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, poor guy. I'm not even gonna mention that he was stitty about my pinpoints. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Come on, Gerard. Gerard, yes, Dobby. I knew he was gonna ruin it. Wait, what? Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Come on, Gerard. Gerard, yes, Dobby. I knew he was get a pukey bucket of snake. You are playing for that snake to be dry clean. I bet you probably can get reptiles dry clean. That's the world we're living in. Yeah. Oh, what a disaster. Love is all you need. No, actually, beetles. You also need a person to do it with. Beetles. Shit! Hello, Jeremy. <laughs> oh, great. Could turn her down. Yeah, dream on. Second lay of the night. This is the worst party ever. He's still taking off his pants like he's going to do it. Oh, you know he's going to do it. Oh, my God. Oh, what a wild oh episode. Oh, my God. It just gets crazier. And there's one more left from season six. Think about that. I think I think Elena's out of the picture now. Yeah. Although it's still season one more episode of season six, so yeah. they might be that involved might be. some way. Fucking oh hell. my god, that was funny when we saw her crying. I was like, oh shit, they actually are breaking up. Yeah. But now she proposed to her. Oh my god. And then we have a puked up snake. Ugh. We got a Dobby went home with, um... Gerard? Gerard. Yeah. And, uh... Mark got Stony Baloney. Mark signing whatever Sophie and her dad want. Yeah, which is not, I don't know if that's a good idea. And then Mark's sister is shacking up with Jeremy at the end there. Jesus Christ. They had a crazy party. This is... They had a crazy party. Oh, man. And Big Sue's took a shit. No, she didn't. It was the other girl. Oh, yeah, it was Jeff. Yeah. yeah. it was Jeff. You're right. She just got blamed. Jeff admitted Poor to it. Sue's. But she did come out... I thought it was her because she did come out of the bathroom. Yeah. Going like, oh, oh. Well, I think maybe she had to go to the bathroom or throw up. And then she saw that and was like, oh, shit, I can't. Yeah. Know. The only thing, the only person that was missing at that party was Alan. Alan yeah. Johnson. Alan if he was there, crazy. Oh my he god. He might have been really crazy at the party. Yeah. But man, this is this is such a brilliant show. It's so good. It's, it's so good. This might be my favorite season. Really? It's I said that it's... about season four. I th or I think, maybe even I think I said it. It's just, I, it still I keeps like getting when better. They don't leave a place like when they're just at the apartment. Yeah, because they have so many situations going on, and it's funny. That had the most situations in one place I've ever seen yeah. on the show. But man, I mean, like I've seen people say, like it peaks at season four. Season four was wild. Yeah, it was. It was really wild. But for me, like each season just keeps getting better and better. I don't know if if it's because I'm getting invested more and more as each season passes, but this particular season is just I can't think of I I don't think season five or four are better right now. Yeah. Maybe it's because I'm on such a high after watching this episode. I don't know, but it's it's just such a brilliant show. It's so good. It really is. We might have to do Can't that. praise it enough. We have to do the next one. So. But if you ever meet people like Mark or Jeremy, stay the fuck away from them, please. Unless you're bored and want some entertainment. Because, <laughs> yeah. wow. I would like to be a bystander at that party. <laughs> yeah. 
I've been a bystander at some weird parties. Yeah. It's, it's definitely interesting when you don't, when you're not invested with the people that are there. Yeah. Because you, you feel like you're just watching a, uh, a powder keg about to go off. Yeah. Which essentially that's what that was. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Such a good show. And uh, remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And we'll and watch another one soon. And we'll watch I'm another very one excited. soon. Yeah, I, I'm like already ex so excited for the finale of season six. Yeah. So. I hope it's crazy. It usually is. The last one usually is. So, all right, Boomerites. We'll see you next Thanks, time. Thanks, guys. Peace out. Bye.